Hi, I am James Gibson, and this project is sponsored by Boston Self-Help Center. And I'm part of Northeastern's physical therapy program, bringing you this project about adaptive sports. My project is about power soccer. Power soccer was created in France. Uh, originally, they called it uh, football and electric wheelchairs in 1978. Without contact with France, Canada developed power soccer which was then uh, exported to Japan and the USA, where Boston and San Francisco were one of the earliest cities to adapt power soccer. Then the Power Soccer Federation was formed with the founding uh, countries being England, Canada, USA, France, Denmark, Portugal, Belgium, and Japan. So here I have a video of, to get you a visual of how power soccer is and what it's about. We play on a basketball court and we set up uh, essentially goal post. Very much like soccer. Exactly the same as soccer in that sense. You play with four players. You play with one goalie and three players. I am a coach for the Boston Breakers, which is Boston's first all wheelchair soccer team. The Boston Breakers have been around, I think, now for 18 months. I think it's fair to say we have 12 members on the team, and we have at least, at least almost nine or ten more. Hurry up. We've gone from plastic bumpers on the chairs to metal bumpers on the chairs to one member who now has a chair which is specifically designed for power wheelchair soccer. There aren't many adaptive sports that are available for a person with that kind of severity of disability because all of our players don't have the opportunity, or at least I don't think many of them do, of, of playing something like wheelchair basketball because you need the upper body strength and, and, and flexibility and mobility. It is the fastest growing adaptive sport in the country. So I'm hopeful that the city of Boston and the Boston area begins to sponsor many more times. So that video was with the Boston Breakers, a local Boston uh, power soccer group. That video was from 2014. So power soccer, who can play? Um, all genders can play, preferably uh, above the age of five. And it's the great part about this is that it's anyone who can use their hand, feet, mouth, or chin to operate a power wheelchair. So the field or court is played on, it's usually a court, but um, it's usually on a basketball court, usually, and it has similar borders as a soccer field. So it has a half field line, a penalty box, a penalty spot, and corners. So very similar to soccer. Um, its equipment has a larger ball, usually 33 centimeters in diameter and weighs one kilogram. Um, a striker force power wheelchair is the preferred wheelchair to use. But other wheelchairs can be used to play. It doesn't necessarily need to be a strike force power wheelchair. And a foot guard is used, as you can see at the bottom of the wheelchair, for hitting the ball. So the rules are 4v4, and one, one of the four being the goalie. The max speed is 6.2 miles per hour forwards and backwards. They have two 20-minute periods, and the ball is out of play if it fully crosses the goal line or touch line. If it is, if the ball is immobile for more than three seconds between two opponents, or if the ball elevates off the floor 20 inches, or if the referee stops play. So these are the rules that distinguish it from uh, normal soccer, where a power soccer has a two-on-one rule, meaning when engaging a ball, only one player from each team can engage the ball, and the other teammate must be three meters from their teammate. And then another rule is the goal area rule, which is no more than two players from the defending team can be in their own penalty box. And one of the players must be the goalie. And then instead of throwing, they have kick-ins when the ball goes out of play. So a substitute can enter the field uh, when there's a stoppage. And with normal soccer, uh, like normal soccer, uh, there are yellow and red cards and precautions. So, and that could lead to a direct free kick which occurs if a player uh, run, carelessly or recklessly rams into another player or uh, anything that seems deems worthy by the referee. 
um, such as maybe even a player spitting on another player. Um, there's also a penalty case of a foul occurs inside the penalty box. So how can we get involved? Um, the best way to get involved is find a team. Using like that link there, you could find local teams around you and see if you can uh, participate in power soccer. They also have power soccer clinic and demonstrations available, where if you want to try it out and see if it's for you. But if there's no power soccer in your area, uh, you could contact the USPSA, PSA, and they will help you start it and help you coordinate uh, a session or and a team. For our contact at, for Boston, if you want, if you're in the Boston area and looking to get involved, you could contact the Boston Help, Self Help Center. And right there, their email and phone number is there, and they'll get you contacted. Thank you so much.